Hey everyone, I'm Jamie with Originality AI. Originality AI is an AI and plagiarism content detector built for serious content publishers. In this episode, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions that we get asked pretty regularly here at Originality. So the first one is gonna be going through the different colors and what they all mean when we do an AI scan or a plagiarism scan. And then the second one is gonna be just a quick overview of the Chrome extension. We do have a full tutorial on the Chrome extension, which I'll link down below. But in this episode, I'll just go over a couple of the use cases. All right. Let's get into it. Okay, so as mentioned, the first thing that we're going to be looking at today is the color grading when we scan for AI. So I've grabbed some content here. Some of it's human written, some of it is human generated. So I'm just going to paste that in there. The AI generated stuff is just a summary of Originality AI. And then the human generated stuff is just a piece from one of our blog posts. So if I now hit scan now, We'll just wait for this to be done. You notice how I'm only detecting AI. I'm not checking for plagiarism and readability. So now we have this information here. If we hover over each one, we can see that there's a popover. So in this case, there's a 100% chance this section was AI generated. If we scroll down here, we can notice that this section here gives it a 25% chance that this section was AI generated. So basically, the darker the red the color, the closer it is to 100% AI generated and the darker the green the color, the closer it is to 100% human generated content. So we can notice down here as well, we've got the highlighting color key. So these are confidence ratings. This is our AI's confidence rating that these particular areas were generated or not generated by AI. So we have the 90% confidence rating, that is this red that you see here. The 70%, we don't have any of those. 50% is yellow, uh, slightly green is 70%, and then 90% is human written. I'm going to put a color grade on the screen now. This is just showing all of the different colors that our tool offers. Okay, and that about sums it up for the color grading. If you have any more questions on this, please just leave it in the comments below, and I will answer those comments. On to the next, we're now going to look at the Chrome extension. Great, so the next thing we're going to be looking at here is the Chrome extension. So there's a couple of different ways to use it, but the primary use case really is for validating that you have written a piece of content or a publisher validating that a writer has written a piece of content. So you do have the option available of just having a scan on any web page. that's obviously great. But if we go into Google Docs, we'll notice this little extra button up here. And this is basically just a more in-depth version of the Google history tool. So I've written some of this content and some of it I've copied and pasted. This once again is just extracts from the summary that ChatGPT created. So it's gonna be mostly AI generated. So once you've written out your content, you're just gonna click on this here and we can click update. It will just go through all the revisions that were made to this document and generate a report. So we can see original and AI here. That's not the main thing we're gonna focus on today though. We're going to have a look at the originality report. So if you click on that there, it's going to give us once again that percentage rating. It's going to show us the contributors to this document and it's going to show us the revision history. So we can see different sessions that have been made. In this case, it was just a single session and we can see the documents character count versus time. So I wrote out a little bit of information, deleted it all. And then you can see this character is steadily increasing. That indicates me typing as I'm going. And then you can see these big jumps in the graph here. This would indicate a copy and paste. And that's obviously more likely to then be copied and pasted from AI generated content. So that's that. Plagiarism is obviously, as you can see, coming soon. If I go back to the document and click on the button again, we can have a look at the view writing section here. So once we click on the view writing section, we can just see a time lapse of all the content that was written. And in a moment, we'll just see a large piece of content inserted just there and another one here as well. That's obviously going to indicate a higher chance of AI generated content. So to access the tool for the first time, you're going to want to open your extensions, click on Originality AI's extension. That's going to ask for you to log in here. Once you've logged in, you can then use the tool. If you do download and install the Chrome extension, we're also going to give you a bunch of free credits that you can then use on Originality AI. So it's kind of an incentive to use the Chrome extension and access those free credits. 
Awesome, that about rounds it up for the Chrome extension. Once again, if you want a full tutorial, I have one in the description below. If you have any more questions concerning the Chrome extension, please feel free to reach out in the comments section. I've been Jamie with Originality AI. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.